The Old Pre-Meds Podcast, session number 170. You're a non-traditional student entering the medical field on your terms. You may have had some hiccups along the way, but now you're ready to change course and go back and serve others as a physician. This podcast is here to help answer your questions and help educate you on your non-traditional journey to becoming a physician. Welcome to the Old Pre-Meds Podcast. My name is Dr. Ryan Gray, the host here at Old Pre-Meds Podcast. I take your questions from premedforums.com and answer them here on the podcast. If you would like your question answered here on the podcast, go to premedforums.com, click on the non-traditional pre-med form and ask your question. Register for an account if you don't already have one and then ask your question. This week, we have a great question who needs to find some volunteering, has a little bit of a rant, and he's looking for some advice. Now he says, I work full time and my son just graduated and went off to college. I started looking for volunteering opportunities earlier this year after all the college application drama passed and he was accepted. Figured it would be easy and quick to find a volunteer position at a hospital. Wrong. I live in New York City and sent volunteer applications to all the NYP hospitals and one of the summer clinics at Einstein, maybe nine to 10 applications in total. Only one place accepted me as a language ambassador for Spanish-speaking patients. And even then, that took a long time for me to actually start because the volunteer training, medical exams, they lost my health clearance, but they found it, then shadowing one of the current ambassadors. Took nearly four months for me to actually start the gig. I am pretty happy so far as I get to help Spanish-speaking patients, and the schedule is very flexible. I will have plenty of hours accumulated from now until I apply next year, but if I had known it would be this long and tedious, I would have started last fall. Just like Dr. Gray always says, apply early and apply broadly. Happy volunteering. All right, so this person wasn't looking for advice. This person was giving advice, which is great advice. When you're going through any process, whether it's the medical school application process or volunteering application process, don't think that it's going to be easy. Assume that it's going to be hard. Assume that it's going to take a long time. Assume that things are going to go wrong, like losing your application and health clearance and then finding it and then, oh, they lost this and oh, whatever, right? You go in for your badge and the computer breaks and you have to go back a week later or you're out of town and then it's going to take forever to to go back in and get your badge, right? Assume that things are going to go wrong. And that way, if they go right, great, smooth sailing. But expect that it's going to take a lot longer than you want. You need to start this process early. If you are trying to squeeze in volunteering or shadowing or whatever you're trying to do, right before the application cycle because you need a couple more a couple more hours to fit in to pad your application don't assume that you're going to be able to fit it in by the time the application comes around assume that it's going to take a while to get there that is my advice for you and that was the advice from this student it took a long time but they were finally able to get there All right, that was a short and simple one, an easy one. As you go through this process, assume that you're going to have to ask a lot more people than you think. Assume that things are going to go wrong. Assume that it's going to take a lot longer than you want it to or that you need it to. That's why you need to start thinking about these things early. All right, if you need some help on your application, check out Next Step Test Prep. They have a new admissions consulting side of what they do. They're still called Next Step Test Prep, but it's not just test prep that they do now. And that's because they reached out to me in 2018 and wanted to know if I would help them with an admissions consulting side of their company. Now, if you know me, then you know that I've been helping students for many years now with personal statements and extracurriculars and and interview prep and just application prep in general. And I made the decision a while ago that I didn't want to hire advisors. I didn't want to grow my own team. And so when Next Step came to me and said, hey, will you help us grow a team? I jumped at it because you guys love Next Step. I hear so many amazing things 
about Next Step and how they helped you with your MCAT prep. And now they can help you with your admissions as well, with your application to medical school, which besides the MCAT is going to be the thing that keeps you or gets you accepted to medical school, keeps you out of medical school or gets you accepted to medical school. You can jump on a free admissions consultation with them by going to nextsteptestprep.com, clicking on the admissions menu item and just filling out your information to jump on a call. If you need help with your personal statement, your extracurriculars, interview prep, or anything else that goes along with the application, again, check out Medical School Admissions Consulting from Next Step Test Prep. Thank you for them for sponsoring this podcast today. And thank you for taking the time to listen to this podcast today. Again, nextsteptestprep.com, Medical School Admissions consulting. Mention this podcast and you can save a little bit of money as well. Thank you for sponsoring this podcast today. Next step, test prep. And I hope to see you next week here on the old pre-meds podcast. 